All right, we're going to get started here with Tampa Bay Buccaneers head coach Bruce Arians. A reminder to media, if you wish to ask a question, please use the raise hand function. Our first question is going to come from Jory Epstein with the USA Today. Hi, Bruce. Thanks for your time today, and congrats on the win. You had quite a few players contribute to this, but I just wanted to ask about Leonard Fournette's performance today in the pass catching and run game and throughout the playoffs. How impactful has he been? Yeah, he's been fantastic, you know, running and catching and pass blocking. He's been an all-round back and done a great, great job for us. Hey, can you turn this up? Next question will come from John Romano with the Tampa Bay Times. Bruce, could you just talk about the game plans of the coordinators, both uh, Byron and Todd? Yeah, I thought all three guys had great plans. Um, Byron did a great, great job, I thought, of just mixing it up, running past, and then pounding them when we needed to, and Todd had a great plan. Keep them in front of us and let our front four get after them, and, uh, you know, they chased him around all night. Next, we'll go to Scott Reynolds with Pewter Report. Bruce, what can you say about Tom Brady's performance, especially with that uh, touchdown right before halftime once again, giving you guys a, a healthy lead at, at the half? Yeah, that was a huge drive, that two-minute drive with a minute and something. Um, just, you know, want to start out a little conservative, make sure we got a play in and we got the, we got the long pass interference. Done a great, great throw with Antonio. And, uh, you know, he just played outstanding the whole ball game. He protected the football. Uh, we had great protection. And he found a couple of guys like Antonio and Gronk. Both their touchdowns were more improv plays and uh, just, just did a great job. Great line, great tight ends. Everybody just did a hell of a job. Team effort. Next over to Jenna Lane with ESPN. Hey, Coach, congratulations, first of oh, all. Oh, chance, baby. Congratulations, Coach. Um, Thank you. A few, of the, a few of your major contributors on offense were all guys that were brought in on one-year deals, Antonio Brown, Rob Brinkowski, Leonard Fournette. How big is it going to be, or should I say, how big was it to have them here tonight? But also, how big is it going to be for you guys to get them back next year? And when do you guys start on uh, the process of doing that? Yeah, I think you got to give Jason Light a ton of credit for this football team. He put a great roster together, uh, picking up those guys and still staying cap friendly. And, uh, you know, we've, we've got a very limited time to get into free agency. And, uh, and we'll try to keep our guys, that's for sure. Next, we'll go to Greg Allman with The Athletic. Hey, Bruce, congratulations. I just want to ask you about Todd Bowles and this defense and what you guys have done with three straight rematches in the playoffs to, to, to pull out these three wins as you have. Yeah, you can't give him enough credit. You know, I, I, I think he got a little tired of hearing about how unstoppable they were. I thought he came up with a fantastic plan um, just to keep them in front of us and tackle real well. Uh, and that you know, Patrick wasn't going to beat us running. Uh, we let him run all day. And uh, just keep chasing them around and see if we can make some plays. We'll go to Lindsey Jones with The Athletic. Hey, hey, Coach Arians. We, you already talked about wanting to bring a lot of your guys back. What is your future here? Is there any chance that you might decide to retire after winning a Super Bowl? Will you be back with the Bucks next year? Hell no, I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I'm coming back, try to get two. <laughs> and then we'll see after that. But uh, no, this football team, I love these guys. And uh, we have a great staff. Um, Great team. Uh, hopefully, Jason and I can get together and, and keep most of them and, and uh, try to repeat. Next over to Chris Ryan, WGIR. Hey, uh, Coach, congratulations. Um, the Thank poise you. and confidence that Tom played with tonight obviously is something we've seen throughout the course of his career. At what point this season you know, did you know that he – was going to be able to have the type of success he had in getting you guys where you went. Yeah, it was a slow, slow steady progress every, every game, every week. And, uh, and really the second half of the Chiefs game, well, we made a nice comeback. But I think really the 31 points we put on Atlanta in the second half, uh, we started attacking more. And, uh, you know, we haven't stopped attacking since. Go to Nancy Armour with the USA Today. Hey, Bruce, congratulations. Thank you, Nancy. Um, you have spent so much time on staffs. You, you had waited a long time for this moment. Can you put into words what it was like? And especially, you know, I know your mom was there. What was it like to have your family and some of your, your friends from where you grew up come in for the game? Oh, it was fantastic. Uh, we had a great day and a half. 
uh, with mom and, and my brothers and sisters and uh, brothers and sisters-in-law um, and grandkids. Um, I had a great morning this morning uh, playing with my two-year-old grandson out in the backyard and pushing him on the swing and uh, then came to the game. So it, uh, you know, th that's what makes us all so, so gratifying is uh, to be able to share it with our family. Go back to Greg Allman with The Athletic. I just want to ask you about Gronkowski. Obviously, he and Brady have such a history together in the postseason, but what it meant to get the two touchdown catches for some separation early. No, that was huge, man. That was huge, especially that second one. Gronk made a great adjustment. But, man, with the protection was unbelievable for Tom to hold that ball that long. And uh, and Gronk made an and they made a great throw and catch. Go to Mark Canizero with the New York Post. Sorry about that. Bruce, can you hear me? Yes, Mark. Hey, congratulations, man. Um, Thank you, bro. Hey, uh, could you just reflect on, you know, just being in the TV booth just a couple of years ago and, and now and now being a part of this right now uh, and just, you know, what this means and if you could have ever imagined this moment? No, not really. I, I think I'd have been uh, smoking something illegal uh, to really imagine this. Uh, I just can't thank Jason enough and the Glazier family for giving me this opportunity and my coaching staff. I mean, they are outstanding. I, I don't do anything, man. They do it all. And then we have great, great players. And uh, again, Jason, Jason gets all the credit for the roster. And uh, I just try to get out of the way and not screw it up. Go back to John Romano with the Tampa Bay times. Hey Bruce, I know you had a plan and I know you were confident but when you step back and look, just how improbable was it that all of these pieces came together in such a short time? Uh, it really wasn't that improbable, John, when you think of the professionals that they are. You know, these guys have history uh, uh, in the playoffs. You know, uh, when you start adding Tom, then Robbie, Leonard went to the championship game, AB's been in playoffs, uh, and they brought that, that, that confidence to all our guys we are, we are a very talented football team that nobody wants to give us credit for, but we're a very talented football team. We just need to believe. And, and the hardest thing is to build a culture where people start believing. And uh, we started believing pretty early in the season, and uh, we knew we we're going to be a tough out. All we had to do was get in the playoff. Time for one more. Go back to Lindsey Jones with The Athletic. Can you hear me okay now? Sorry. Yeah, Lindsey. So what, so what comes next, do you think, when, when you're talking about trying to run it back? We have saw tonight how difficult that was on the Chiefs' side. So what's going to be the key to keeping this group together and trying to go for two, like you said you wanted to do? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is keep our guys. You know, um, do what we can, make sure that we keep our guys here and, uh, and, and, and hit a home run in free agency just with our guys. Uh, and not maybe an outside guy, but mo just keep our guys. And then – uh, Jason will hit another home run in the draft and uh, we'll continue to build this football team. And, uh, you know, we don't have any, many, many weak spots. If we get the guys back that we want back and uh, need back, uh, we'll just be adding great athletes in the draft. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Coach.